Siddhanta Saraswati has written a long purport about these words, Atma Samarpan. Mm -hmm. At the time when someone receives initiation and Atma Samarpan, they offer everything to me. Krishna says, Say Kale Krishna Tari Kore Atma Sam. I accept that person as good as myself. That person becomes, in one sense, non different from Krishna. So we have generally two types of spiritual masters in this world. We have the Siksha Guru and we have the Diksha Guru. And Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami, he describes that both of them are to be understood to be non-different from Krishna. In Adi Lila, uh, chapter 1 of Chaitanya Charitamrita, Kaviraj Goswami describes Guru Krishna Rupaha Shastra Pramai Guru Te Krishna Kripa Purana Bhakta Hare Krishna Hare He says, this is not some speculation. Shastra Pramani, all Shastra is describing this. Guru Rupe Krishna Kripa Korne Bhakta Gan. Hmm? The Guru is Krishna Kripa Shimurti. We were mentioning this yesterday. He's the manifestation of Krishna's mercy. And so this is a Diksha Guru. He's non different from Krishna because the mantra that he's giving you is Krishna. In the Hari Bhakti Vilas, it's described that, that uh, the Guru is non different from Krishna, and that the mantra that we receive from Guru is also non different from the Guru and non different from Krishna. So, that personality who gives us that mantra, he's a manifestation of Krishna, he's giving birth to us. He's giving us Krishna. And therefore we offer all respect to our Diksha Guru. In Iskand we're not so maybe sophisticated sometimes with this uh, Vaishnav culture. But if you visit different, uh, I don't like to use the word traditional Gaudiya Vaishnavas because there's no such thing as a traditional Gaudiya Vaishnava. They're all radical. <laughs> all the followers of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Moreover, there's so many different types. But in the Gaudiya Mat, and some Babaji lines also, they worship their Diksha Guru. When they go on the altar, they keep the picture of the Diksha Guru because that's the person who gave me mantra. And when you're going on the altar to worship the deity, huh, you're doing that on the strength of that mantra. Huh? 